Hello everybody. Did you miss me? It's Carol at Big Cat Rescue. And over there is one of our leopard cages. And then it is right next door to the Funcation, which is the 22,000 square foot area where our leopards and cougars and smaller cats get a two week vacation. And what we're doing is hooking it up via these above ground tunnels, or Jamie said maybe we should call them chutes. So you can see where this one is being adjoined to the back end of the Funcation. And then this ridiculously long one will take us all the way down to the next two leopard enclosures. So it'll make it a lot easier for us to move the leopards around by just sending them into the tunnel and then out to Funcation. That way we don't have to catch them or scare them, crate them up. And the first time they go on Funcation or when the bigger cats go out to the two and a half acre vacation rotation, sometimes they're a little bit nervous about these above ground shoots because they just don't know what they're about. See here is where you would then make the turn to the next cage. If I can get over there. My brother's been building these and when they're all finished they have a oh there we go they have a cut through so that the keepers can actually cross so this one actually joins to hi a serval cage hello little serval i think you must be cricket here's little cricket can we see you napping in the sun my lovey i'm not seeing your comments so i'm afraid that's not coming through. And I forgot to tell Luana that I had gone live. So we'll visit with Cricket for a minute. And then I was thinking to, oops, sorry. Um, I was thinking to go over and visit with Saber. I saw he was right up front and center. So maybe what I'll do is close this one down and try to start again and alert Luana this time so that she can answer your questions if I can't see them. I'm really frustrated with this Facebook Pages app. I just don't see any way to change what it is that I'm seeing. And I know a lot of you are probably screaming, swipe left! <laughs> That's not it. I swipe left and it does not bring up your comments. It just tells me when people are joining and how many, peop how many people are there, but it won't let me see your comments half the time, more than half the time. You're so beautiful. Yes, you are. Well, it is good to be home. I can't talk about my trip much yet, but uh, when I can, you guys are going to get an earful of how corrupt I think a certain court system is. And I saw, this is Saper's enclosure, and I saw he was out this morning and awake, so I thought you guys might want to see that. So we'll hop on over there and see not seeing any hearts or likes or comments so it's that tells me that uh, I'm not going to be able to because there's already over 200 of you guys on here so I apologize for not being able to answer your questions in real time but hopefully Luana will be able to do that and I had uh, one of our people this morning ask me how do I deal with the BCR watch people saying that our bowls are green and I said our bowls are not green they're scrubbed with bleach every day and rinsed out. Hi, Saber. <laughs> Hello. So there's just no way that algae can grow in that kind of an environment. But the thing is that it's actually a testament to how green our enclosures are. And if you look in the background, all you see is green. I mean, there's green everywhere. There's green trees, green grass, green bushes. And if you look over there at the bowl, the water looks green because it's reflecting all of the greenness around it that you guys have seen me do these up close things so if I get actually let's see it's hovering in this water but when you get right up to it you can see it's perfectly clean there's no green in there it's just the cast from the reflection of all the green around it and maybe your beautiful green eyes yeah you have beautiful eyes <laughs> you play with the ball kind of in case you're wondering why Saber's walking that way, if you're new, he's 25 years old, which is twice as long as they usually live anywhere else. 
He's such a good boy. How about you pick a spot and lay down and I'll come sit with you. Would that be good? Can I come sit with you? <laughs> He's like, who would like to have that shawl? I'm wearing a uh, shawl because it's cold for me. 69 degrees. I just came from Ohio where it was 32 degrees. I don't know how you people live in that kind of an environment. <laughs> You're so funny. You're so funny. I went up there to testify on behalf of some of our witness protection cats and unfortunately I am restrained by the Ohio the Ohio Department of Ag from speaking about any of that to the press or you know publicly like to you guys <laughs> until the entire process is done so I can't give you the details on it but let me tell you when I can you're gonna get an earful about it and the only way that we're gonna ever fix the problem sorry that was Jamie calling um, the only way we're ever going to fix the problem is to ban the private possession of these animals through the Big Cat Public Safety Act. And if you haven't made your call to Congress in the last week, because our bill just got reintroduced, I'm going to ask you to please go to BigCatAct.com. Is that good water? That's such good water. <laughs> go to BigCatAct.com and follow the instructions on the page all the way to the end. And it's not hard. It'll only take you a couple minutes and it means all the difference in the world to these cats. I gotta go answer Jamie's uh, phone call, so I'm gonna go. Ooh, Sharon's got a treat. Maybe we'll stay and watch that for a minute. I'm so sorry. No, this is perfect. Is it for him? <laughs> it is. Um, the keeper score went by, and he got some opera. Um, but then he kind of gave her the sad face, so she asked me to give him a sickle. <laughs> And I think, I think it's a Sardini Martini. Mm. Oh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Come here, old man. You wanna go in the grass? Saber, Saber. That's what he did earlier. Object in motion tends to yeah. stay in motion. <laughs> Sharon Henry, one of his keepers, giving him a sardini martini blood sickle. Ho ho ho, check that out. You can smell it. So sorry that I have to shut this down, but I never know if it's an emergency, so I really do need to call Jamie back. But I'm glad you guys got to see Saber get his Sardini Martini sickle, and I will be checking back in with you guys later on. It was not an emergency. Jamie just wanted to know if some parts had arrived for the cage modifications that she's doing out at Bobcat Rehab. So I thought you guys might want to check back in and see <laughs> Saber getting his treat. I see hearts and likes. So when this is Saber, he's a 25 year old black leopard at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. Hi, Danielle. Isawara, this is Saber. It's spelled S-A-B-R-E. 
You can find out more about him at bigcatrescue.org slash saber. Hi, Andrew. Hey, Lex. Hey, Pam. Hi, Amy. Mary, thank you for sharing the video. Hi, Lauren. Hey, Kathy. Hi, Tracy. He does have beautiful fur, doesn't he? You can just see little flecks of white, his old man hair. But he's got those beautiful black spots on a chocolate black background, which is typical for black leopards and black jaguars. It became politically incorrect to call them black panthers back in the 60s, even though they are from Panthera partis, if they're leopards. The sun is hitting his fur just perfectly to see those spots. And it's kind of washed out on my screen here because, like, looks dark green behind him, but like in the video here I'm seeing it's really, really light, so it's showing his spots even lighter. Hey Dale. Hey Terry. Can you guys hear him lick, lick, licking? Nicole, this is Saber. morning, honey. Donna, it's my pleasure to come back with a close-up. You're absolutely right. They are gorgeous. Wow, all the way from Queensland. Diana, this is a sardini, a frozen sardini martini. No alcohol, though. Vicky, we make blood sickles for the cats. We feed 500 pounds of raw meat a day here at Big Cat Rescue. And so if you've ever thawed out meat on your countertop, you know the mess that makes with blood. So we capture that blood and we freeze it, turn it into blood sickles for the cats, but sometimes they like something different. So we have tuna sickles and in this case, a sardini sickle, which is made out of sardines. Got a growly tummy. I see Luana has joined us here and is answering your questions as well. Oh, where are you going? Did you get brain freeze? Oh no, I don't want brain freeze. Now that gave him some energy to go for a walk. I guess we're done then. He'll come back. We'll wait just a second, see if he comes around the corner. He could go back into that back section where you see the den in the background. Or he could come in from the other side of this den. Take a nap. Oh. Not there he is. <laughs> coming back around? Are you coming? Oh, he's a good boy. He's such a good boy. I love that saber. Mm, num, num, num. Oh, that's so good, huh? Is that so good? Just had to give yourself a break. Too freezy? I know, it's 66 degrees. It's all freezy for us Floridians. Well, he did a pretty good job on it. I'll talk to you guys later. Kali, I'm not sure if there's a time limit on this. You might want to look at the camera before we run out of time. This is Kali Tiger at Big Cat Rescue. And this is Carol, who really doesn't know how to do Instagram live videos. It does look like I'm going to run out of time before too long on here. Kali! <sighs> Who's a good girl? Not falling for any of it, are you? Here's Kali's story. 